एवरीवन आई एम आरुष शिक्षित एंड यू आर वाचिंग कनेक्ट एक आरुष इंग्लिश प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर माय चैनल सो आई विल बी मोटिवेटेड फॉर क्रिएटिंग टेक्निकल वीडियोस लाइक दिस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर फुल स्टैक वेब डेवलपमेंट कोर्स एंड दिस इज आवर पार्ट थ्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट बी यू आई फॉर्मेटिंग टैक्स कोड के डी ई मार्क्यू टैक्स वी विल डिस्कस दीज फोर दीज सिक्स टैक्स सो लेट्स गो टू अवर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन एंड गेट स्टार्टेड So here, firstly, I will create my tutorial folder for tutorial three. And inside tutorial three, I will put. Um, I will open this with code. I will go here. Uh, tutorial dot html. And here I will write my basic template code, which is HTML. And inside HTML, we have a head tag. And inside head tag, we have title tag. Right? Yes. So let's go here. Paste that here. Paste that here. Control right. Uh, firstly, let me open. Uh, where is that command palette? Command palette. Control shift key. Why it is not giving me command? Sure. I will just opening my screencast mode so that. Dot that key I press you will see in the in the monitor. So I will press enter. Go here and after this we will close our HTML tag. We will write body. Go here and. Firstly, let's understand about formatting tags. Formatting tags. B U I bold italic underline. Bold italic and U for underline. Let's first save this. Go here. Here is our tutorial thing. So we will go here. Let's see our app. What is it? Ah. Oh no! Is something wrong here? Hmm. Tutorial. Tutorial three. Let's save this code here. Now let's refresh. Uh, why it is giving me this thing? Uh, let me do this. Basically, let me let me remove that attribute that you can't understand, so that. Tutorial. Tutorial. Hmm. Let's uh, let me go back again, and I want to see a thing here. Oh, this is the problem. This is just the problem that we don't see. Let's save this. Go here, and then I refresh this. See bold italic underlined. Now what is BR tag? 
suppose I write here B R. B R. Uh, one thing. One thing I forget to tell you. Let me go here. See, it is bold, italic, and underlined. But these are not in line. Like suppose this. These are in parallel. Suppose this like. But we want this. So we'll go here. At our code base, we will write B R tab. Control D, Alt downside. Not this. This thing. Save this. Go here. And refresh it. See here is that. So after we do this, we will understand about code KDE and mark Q. Let's firstly understand code. Uh, co in code tag, we suppose write here. Suppose I write Python code here. Print hello world and save this. Now go here and refresh. See, it's like font is changed here, and we also have to put br tag. See, here now it's looking like a code that we saw here. This is the in font. And after that, we will understand KDE. Print. We will write the same code here. Hello world. Save this code here. And refresh. See. Now it is not that looking good. But this is not CSS. We are just focusing on HTML only. So here, that is. After that, we will put. A mark you tag, mark you. Uh, suppose I put here full stack web development course by Arsh Dixit. Let's save this. Go here, refresh. See, it's like that. But suppose I want that in the direction. Uh, direction is equal to left. Let's save this. Go here and refresh. Uh, why it is not giving me that? Mark you. So that's not working right now, uh, but it will work. See that's working. Now let's go here and set the BG. BG is a property that is used, but it will not work. It will not work because BG is HTML property that is used for body tag. But let's don't focus on CSS of it because CSS is for styling, and we are understanding the structure of a website. And after we understand the structure of a website, then we will move to styling, and after that we will move to the JavaScript. Let me explain you the difference. Between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Suppose you are building a car, and the structure of car is HTML. The styling and designs of car will be CSS, and the engine of car that will that define how does the car work. That will be JavaScript. And in JavaScript, we have many frameworks, and it is also backend like it also have backend backend. Uh, so that's it guys i hope you like this video thank you guys thanks for watching